the little animals surge forward. Their frenzy takes them tumbling down the terrace cliff, creating tiny avalanches of sliding soil and rocks, and seemingly indestructible lemmings. the final precipice. This is the last chance to turn back. Yet over they go, casting themselves bodily out into space. survived the ordeal, for now they begin to swim. Not toward land, strangely, but away from shore, toward the far horizon. Others find the beaches by roundabout ways, and they too plunge into the waves. It's not given to man to understand all of nature's mysteries, but as nearly as he can surmise, it would appear that the lemmings consider this body of water just another lake. And if it's a lake, then it must have a farther shore and so they strike out boldly. But gradually, strength wanes. Determination ebbs away. And soon the Arctic Sea is dotted with tiny, bobbing bodies. And so is acted out the legend of mass suicide and destruction of a species it would seem to be. Except that nature, in her infinite wisdom, has spared a few. Back on the Arctic plain, there remains the small handful that did not make this fatal journey. And in time, new generations will take the place of those that have been lost. And yet, when the population cycle mounts to another peak, the lemming legend will be told again, and will come to this same amazing climax, a final rendezvous with destiny and with death.